Hello, how's it going everyone? Bringing you something a little bit different. I haven't yet uploaded a Modern Warfare 3 game, but I thought I would. This was playing free for all and I got myself a cheeky Moab. Now, <laughs> I haven't got too many Moabs and definitely haven't got many in free for all. I think this is my only one, as you probably well, you will tell at the end of the video I get the achievement, I think, for playing, I think, five free for all games. So this is this is my fifth free for all game on this account, well, on this prestige. I know Moabs for some people can be quite difficult to get, so I thought I'd upload it. Um, it's very campy, <laughs> you'll be able to tell. I did cut out the uh, the long bits, the bits where I really wasn't doing a lot, and um, I hope that doesn't ruin the video at all. Anyway, I've got a few things I'd like to talk about. I read an article today, just like I normally do at my long busy days at work, and um, I saw that the dedicated servers are announced for COD Ghost on all consoles. Very exciting news. Now, I know that I've touched on this before. Um, it's not going to fix everything, and we all know that. Well, we all should know that. It's definitely not going to fix... It's going to fix some of the problems that the Call of Duty has, and I'm really looking forward to it. I cannot wait for Ghost, and you know I'm a big Call of Duty fan. I think it's good to see that Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer or Raven, whoever's making the multiplayer side of the game, is actually focusing on touching up on the connection side of things, where they haven't really done that before they... They've sort of touched up obviously on the features and stuff and improved them, but the uh, the network side of things and the connections is a major problem. I think for most people, especially me, I tend to moan about connections more than anyone, but yeah, I'm happy to see that they're actually trying to improve on something that is a major problem in the game at the moment. Anyways, in other news, I just want to thank every single one of you that have supported me on the Machinima UK series that I have uploaded. I know I've put a few videos up just to let people know, obviously, the links, and uh, even on that video, I've got a lot of support, so I just want to thank every single one of you. I've seen all your comments actually on the Machinima video, and um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't thank you guys enough. And for you guys who say, don't forget about me when you get to the top, listen, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> it's not something that I'll, I will always have a small channel mentality. No matter how many subscribers I, you know, I could get, um, how many views I get of a video, I will always have the mentality of a smaller channel. And to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way. Anyways, I've got some other good news. I can actually record PC gameplay now, which is really exciting. Now, I know I've touched on this before on a previous video about not having fraps and what was good. Anyway, I've done a few, I've done a little bit of investigation and um, i come up with a software, well, i come across a software and it was called Action. And I'm not too, re not really too sure who it's made by. What well, i tell you what I'll do, I'll put the link in the description. Um, it might not be everyone's favourite, but for me it works great. I mean, I played Battlefield 3 last night, and I was averaging about 70 frames a second on the PC, and when I put it on record it was going down to about 60, so I think that sort of swayed it for me when a lot of people were saying Fraps was bringing the frames per second right down, so... And that leads me on to my second point where I've uploaded episode 1 of Minecraft. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not actually going to carry that on on the Xbox, but I am going to carry it on on the PC. So I've, I had a little play with it today and um, yeah, it's, it feels a lot more easier. Oh, the simplicity isn't there for building stuff. So I've sort of got to try and learn what, what combinations build what. But that'll be something that I'm looking forward to getting stuck into and actually being able to play it on PC. I've heard a lot of good things about the PC version. I can download texture packs. I think so I can make it look a little bit more prettier so yeah I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in with that um, I had a go at the Battlefield 4 beta on PC I actually downloaded it but um, my, my FPS was terrible and I mean I was dropping down to sort of 11 it was just dismal and that wasn't even recording so I didn't even attempt to record it and yeah now I've, I've got some on my hard drive from the Xbox All right, the gameplay isn't that pretty I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing that or I might just play tomorrow night and try and get a decent game. I mean, it's at some points it was running okay, but it was not on a consistent basis. Oh, and some people have been asking me about my Road to Commander series. Um, yeah, I'm loving doing it. So all the time that I'm loving doing it, I'm going to do it. I'm hoping to get it all done before Call of Duty Ghosts, but that's a month away. And I, oh, what level am I on? I've got to be on 50, level 50. So it's, it's a big ask. I need to play a lot and upload a lot to be able to do that. But that's definitely a target that I'm aiming to achieve. What do you guys think about maybe a potential Road to Commander on Ghosts? Now, I was thinking about doing it. I wasn't sure how good or, or how well that might come off, I don't know, because obviously at the beginning of the game I'd, I'd want to start upload, uploading straight away, but um, yeah, I mean on the early stages of any game <laughs> it tends to go quite badly, but who knows, if you like the live commentary aspect of things then yeah, I mean I'll, I'll definitely do it. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. And touching back on the PC, I, 
now I can record on PC. Is there any games that you guys like watching? I mean, I have to admit, one of my favourite games on the PC is actually Star Wars The Old Republic. Now, that's an MMORPG, so that isn't the most entertaining <laughs> game to watch. But, you know, I don't know. If you guys like, like that kind of thing, then let me know. We're almost at the end of the gameplay now, and as you can see, I think I'm on 22 kills, 21 kills. 22 kills, <laughs> and I remember my heart just pounding. Now, you always, you guys will know if you've got my webs before. You know that you've got that feeling when you're just about to get one. You're just like, well, what should I do? Should I run out? Should I camp? <laughs> yeah, I had that feeling. I, you sort of feel invincible, especially when you've got the specialist on. But if you've been keeping an eye on the gameplay. <laughs> that was close. Even that last kill to get the Moab was very close, and I call it in here. So that is the end of the game. So um, if you guys like the video, please leave a rating, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.